Hey, what's going on YouTube? And welcome back to the Beamer Barn. Today we're gonna to be working on my E53 X5 and we're gonna be doing the facelift cargo cover conversion. This is something that I was told is a better upgrade over the pre-facelift cargo cover, something about the way the gears work and it being more reliable. So let's go ahead and get right to work. Now, like I was saying, the previous owner actually included these pieces when I bought the X5 from him, and he told me something about the old mechanism in the pre-facelift cars not working very well and binding up on the gears. So these new pieces look a little bit more simple, and we're gonna be retrofitting them onto the car today, and it's not as simple as just swapping them out because it takes a little bit of time, and also you have to thread some new holes into the frame, but we're gonna go ahead and show you all that today in this video, and let me show you first how to start by removing everything. Now with the spare tire cover removed, you're gonna have to start down at the base trim that covers the rear tailgate. And there's four screws that you can get easily from the outside, as well as the two that are underneath the luggage strap hooks, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and start by removing all those. They're all gonna be Phillips head screws. And then in a minute, we'll have to get the other four bolts that are hidden by the tailgate trim. So underneath this flap right here, there are a few springs that you're gonna have to unhook. And then once all them are undone, you're just gonna slide it over to the left and it should pop free and you can get it out of the way. That way you can see the four remaining Phillips head screws that are gonna allow you to eventually get this thing free, but we're not all the way there yet. So on each side of the car, we have these trim panels that are held in place by some 10 millimeter plastic nuts. You're gonna go ahead and remove those because we also need to remove the side trim panels. Basically everything is on top of the cargo cover trim. And so we have to get everything around it first. So we'll remove these two side panels and then we have one last screw for the main trim piece here. And then once that's off, we should be able to get it free. Now, as part of this upgrade, we are gonna have to remove the door lock strikers here for the tailgate. And removing them means that later on, we're gonna have to reinstall and adjust them as part of the process because they don't just simply go into the same place every time. So once you've got that off though, you should be able to get off this side trim piece here. Although I did kind of break it on the way. There's a switch on the back, you'll have to unhook. But more importantly, there's a couple of screws that I missed because they were missing on mine. There's one that's up here that goes right where the cargo cover is gonna land later. And then there's another one, which I wasn't aware of because again, it was missing on my left side cover before. And I actually end up breaking it right here. So learn from my mistakes and remove these two screws before you try to get this trim piece off. And then there's just a pop clip at the very top. So once we remove this switch, we can get this out of the way. And now we finally have access to remove the cargo trim pieces on each side of the car. There are two plastic Phillips screws, and then there's also four four millimeter Allen screws. And besides all that hardware, there's also a plastic trim clip up here that's hidden by the seat cover. And once we've got that out of the way, you still have to remove the pillar trim, which can be a little bit of a pain. You're probably gonna break some of the clips, but that is actually hooked into the cargo cover. So you have to remove it in order to get it out. So 
So now with both sides removed, we can compare them with the new cargo trim covers that we're gonna be installing. And this actually shows us that we have different bolt hole locations, which we're going to have to install. Now, before we get there, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning because there's a ton of dirt and dust inside of this trunk. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the wheel, do a little bit of vacuuming, and then I'll show you guys how I mark, measure, and drill holes for the new threads of the bolts that we're gonna be installing in a second. So the simplest way to make the holes correctly for these new cargo trim covers is gonna be by installing the trim piece with the lower Phillips trim screws. And then we're gonna use a Sharpie where the bolts would go in. And that's gonna make our mark on the bracket where we're going to be drilling and threading holes for the bolts. So it's as simple as that. You'll see how they don't line up to the factory locations on the pre-LCI cars. So the first bit that we're going to use is actually a pilot bit, and this is just small enough to make sure that our full size hole is gonna be centered where we made that Sharpie mark. And then we're going to use a 532nd size drill bit, which is just big enough for us to tap the metric threads into. Now you're going to need an M5 by 0.8 metric sized tap, and this is gonna let you use the factory hardware that was on the cargo covers before. Unfortunately, it's a little bit of an awkward angle to get in with the tap tool. So I went and put this on the end of my drill and I slowly worked it in and out of the metal bracket here. Now this is sped up a little bit so you guys don't get bored, but once you've worked it in and out and you have some clean threads, you should be able to reuse that factory hardware. So once you've confirmed that your hardware fits, we can go ahead and reinstall the cargo cover and make sure that everything lines up very well. And once that's done, we can move on to the other side of the car, tap those holes, and then we'll be able to reinstall everything in the rear end here. And of course, reinstallation is the same as the removal. Just make sure that you don't over torque anything and that you try to reuse as many of those clips as possible. A lot of the trim in the trunk of my car was dirty, so I took this opportunity to clean it up and that way it gives it a nice fresh look once we reinstall it. So keep in mind, I've never actually used the factory cargo cover on my pre-facelift X5. So it was a little new to me to get this thing into the right place, but it clicks in really satisfyingly on both sides. The cargo cover slides out and locks into place on the sides where I showed you before. And mine was a little bit dirty, so I did some vacuuming here before I took some of these glamour shots. But overall, everything looks like it should up here, nice and factory fitment, and it also works smoothly as well. The locking mechanism is a bit annoying to disengage because because you have to press down on the button at the same time as pressing up on the whole cargo cover, but otherwise this thing works beautifully. Now, like I said before, we do have to adjust the strikers for the tailgate right here. And so these 12 millimeter bolts, I went and loosened them and that way I could get them into the right place, kind of try out the tailgate. And with a little bit of trial and error, I was able to get it nice and sealed perfectly. So it had a satisfying lock and it didn't have any play or wiggle. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like or a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't yet. As always, I hope everyone has an amazing day and we'll see you next time.